Hi, my name is Earl and today we're going to continue our little sequence on how a compressor operates and today we're going to talk about the compressor, scroll compressors running unloaded and what can happen in, internally in that protection compressor to do that. So there are so many mechanisms inside a scroll compressor that will have that compressor run unloaded and it doesn't mean it's bad. So versus our old school recip compressors that we were used to dealing with, when we had an issue with that compressor running but not pumping, it usually meant that we had something going on with the internals. A scroll compressor, like I mentioned, has so much internal protection to it that that compressor can run unloaded and doesn't mean it's bad, which leads to a high tendency of those compressors getting misdiagnosed as being bad and replaced. So today we're going to talk, the first part, we're going to talk about the compression ratio protection. And in this first slide, Copeland basically, they have two different compliances that they use. They use the axial compliance and they use the radial compliance. And the axial compliance is designed to basically lift up that scroll set about one millimeter so it would unload. And it's used in different applications, but this first one we're going to talk about the protection. And then the radial compliance is designed to move that scroll set horizontally one millimeter or so in case there's debris in it. And also on this slide, I'm also showing the the gas patterns so you can get an idea of how the gas flows in that scroll set. So when we start looking at the compression ratio, basically what that compressor has, and all, all Copeland scrolls have this, in the fixed scroll set, there is a port that is tied to the intermediate pressure. So every time this scroll set starts, that intermediate pressure starts building up in this chamber, all right? And what also sits in this chamber is called the floating seal, like I've showing in the picture on the slide. And basically that intermediate pressure pushes up on this floating seal. And then this floating seal then comes up and basically pushes against the muffler plate. Like you can see in the uh, slide that I have, the one that's blue on the one side showing that seal. So every time this compressor starts, that intermediate pressure builds up and basically this floating seal helps push and seal that high to low side. So let's say that something goes on in the system and let's say maybe we get a block metering device for an example. Well, what happens then, our discharge pressure starts going up because we have a restriction in the line or restriction in the high side. And then with that restriction, our low side pressure starts falling. So if we get above 11 to 1 compression ratio, the scroll set is designed that no longer will the intermediate pressure be able to be held in this chamber. So when that happens, like what's showing on the red side of that floating seal slide, the compression ratio now, that pressure cannot maintain. So this floating seal will fall, and when it does that, when it falls, then it comes off the muffler plate, all right? And then that internally starts equalizing the compression.